nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them, crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I'd need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just. It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> he looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. 
Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We really should change the name. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. It's not that big of a deal. Endercon will be fun either way. What? Uh, hold on. Let me try that again. What? He's right, Jesse. Incredibly. This is a huge deal. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now... We've hated losing, but today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments, They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team.
know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, mm. oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the Order of the Pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Nope. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. And if you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelots! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. 
We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh, the Builder Bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden. That the lava's getting closer. It's ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. Ah. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. Hey, Ruben. I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, there's no way Reuben made these on his own. Reuben, are you in there? All pigs but Reuben, shut up!
open. It's getting scary out here. Ruben? Ruben? Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Let's get out of here, Reuben. Hope you're ready for some more walking. We gotta hurry back to town if we don't want to run into... <laughs> I think, I think we're good. I think we made it. out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? No, I risked my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. 
There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said... You could come with me. I know. I was there. It was amazing. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better. You can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave us here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've Got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Even if I wanted to get to know him, there's no way Olivia and Axel would go along with it. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! <sighs> This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? 
I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. But talking's what I do best. Just do me a favor and suppress your inner talent, okay? Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good, but Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like, a lot disappointed. The saddest of the sad sacks? Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. You can't seriously think you're just gonna leave me here? If you can manage to stay alive in the woods, I think you can do the same here. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? I'm waiting. No, who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot! Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? 
lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. 